Hey friends, it's Becca with Beautiful Mess Plans. I'm here to set up the week of October 10th through the 16th, so if you want to see what I do, stick around. Okay, so here we go. Um, another week is upon us. Um, this last week was long and good, and um, yeah, everything working really well. Um, I will say I didn't work out except for one day this week, but I think that this works so much better. Um, let me take out my sticky note. I'm not going to do anything on this page. Um, let me show you how this is coming. This is this current week that we're in. I'm filming on Saturday. Um, and this is how I do it as I go. So I start here, as you all, all, all know, um, because I say it like every time. And then I use my letters and my, uh, I just love it. It goes, it comes together really, and it's fun to do every night. So I already set up my lines very, very crookedly. <laughs> I don't think I realized how crooked they were. Also, I want to mention, so when I was first unboxing this, I was like, what are these sleeves for? And then someone had left a comment and said that they had seen other uh, people talking about being asleep for your stickers. Um, and once um, they mentioned it, I was like, you know what? You're right. So I've been housing my stickers in this sleeve and it's been working really, really well um, to kind of keep them contained. I don't have to open that big thing every single time. I mean, I still lose stuff all the time, as you guys know. If you watch this video on a regular, uh, this channel on a regular basis, I feel like I'm constantly losing all my stickers all the time. But uh, that's just the way it goes. So, how was everyone's week last week? Ours was super busy. Uh, we, uh, I took my oldest, no, my oldest, I took my youngest to the Arboretum. They had a free day at the Arboretum. So we went and walked around the Arboretum and she had a great time. We went on a little hike uh, and it was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful day and we really enjoyed getting out. And then the next day, and these lines are really crooked. The next day we actually went to um, the nature center because they had a story time, an animal tale story time where she got to even see a turtle uh, walking around the room and she had a, she really liked that. So we'll definitely be going back to the story time again. And then uh, I took all three kids, my big kids were off on Friday from school. So we went to the public library and everybody got to check out books. My oldest is participating in what's called the Battle of the Books at her school. And so she has to read, she has like a list of books that she needs to read. So we went and picked up some books for her. And then of course my others, she wanted books too. So we did that. Um, and then uh, Friday evening was the school carnival. And so we went up to that and they had a great time. They had inflatables. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. I don't know if you can, but I, I seem to be having a kid having a meltdown. I'm gonna assume my husband's gonna take care of it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't even know if you guys could hear it, but it was whew, something. Um, but we went up to the school carnival and there was inflatables and there was a bunch of games. And we weren't sure how my youngest, who is three, was going to do with the inflatables. But I'm like, she's a climber. I'm sure she'll do fine. We sent her with my oldest of everything so that she could help if, if she needed help. And uh, yeah, she was a pro. She was a little champ climbing things like nobody's business. The only thing we didn't let them do was the bouncy house because we were afraid that she was just going to get, you know, bounced all over. And, you know, little kids on bouncy houses don't always go well when you have big kids. So they didn't do that, but they still had a lot of fun. We did went and did the games. They had opened the book fair early. So we went over to the book fair and I always let each kid get two books. So got some books from the book fair and then we ended the evening by letting them get cotton candy on the way out. Um, and that pretty much made their night. <laughs> they were so excited about the cotton candy. Um, so that was fun. We did that. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to see if I have any that has... Okay, we have two options with O's left. We have... Hold on, let me look at something real quick. So this is this week I'm planning for, and then this one, this one I'll do the Halloween. Okay, so whatever I don't use this week, I'll use next week. So let's do the 
Let's do the green this week. Um, but they had a blast doing that. And today we are not painting. I don't know if you noticed. I don't have paint all over my hand. Okay, I have a little bit of paint. We had to touch up. We were, I was sitting in my room and I had the big light on. We rarely have our big overhead light on in our room because there's really no need to have it on. Because um, during the day, I, I don't really turn on lights around the house. And then, sorry about the noise. And then um, at night, we pretty much just have our, uh, we have our lamps on. Sorry, I was trying to think of the word and I was thinking of something else. Um, we have our lamps on, so we don't have our overhead light on. And we just happen to have our overhead light on. I look out into the hallway and there was, a, was an entire area that we forgot to trim because um, it's in a shadowy part of the hallway, so we couldn't see it from the hallway, and the light in the hallway didn't hit it. And the only way we could have seen it was from our bedroom light being on, so we had to go. We just fixed that. I had a little paint, but otherwise, that's that's all we did. <laughs> I haven't had to do anything else. Um, I'm going to use this quote. It says, everything is hard before it is easy, because this has been a tough couple weeks. So that was kind of nice, but we did do a lot of cleanup today because, man, these are lines are crooked too. I, this was the week of crooked lines, I guess. Um, my in-laws will be in town tomorrow, which you're seeing this on Tuesday. So they'll be here on Sunday. Um, today is currently, like I said, Saturday for, to celebrate my oldest daughter's birthday. So we're kind of picking up a little bit because the house has just been a giant mess and basically just trying to relax. I didn't sleep well last night. It got really cold um, overnight down into the 30s and we don't have our heat on. We don't have our, well, we don't have our air on, but we don't have our heat on either. And um, so it was a little cold in the house. <laughs> so that was less than fun. So I didn't sleep well because I was up a lot trying to just tossing and turning, I guess, because of the cold. I don't know, but um, I'm tired today. So if I seem a little bit like this, I mean, I guess I always seem a little bit kind of like I'm walking, I'm babbling and whatnot, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so now I did my health um, page. I'll fill these in later. I think I'll go on to the daily pages but I think once again because I'm doing two washies and the stamping I'll go ahead and fast forward and you guys can just watch what I do. Okay, so as you can tell, I didn't get a great stamp. And I also ran out of this wood grained washi. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I always feel really accomplished when I finish something. Um, so that's kind of a nice feeling. So because I didn't have enough for both, I went back, you probably saw this if you were paying attention, and took off the bottoms and then um, just put it along the top because I had enough to do the top on all of them. Um, and I think that'll work. And then next week I will just use just the regular washi and obviously not the one that I ran out of. So that will do, but it, oh, what am I doing? I don't need this. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep dating things. Um, so let's do the shop page real quick. Um, put the washi on and then get it labeled. So yeah, I always feel really good, especially there's something very like that feels really good when you finish. I think uh, skincare products and when you finish like 
uh, stationary or like washi or, you know, something, something like that, that always feels like it takes forever to actually get through. And then you are done with something. I don't know. I, it's, maybe it's a weird me thing, but it always feels like an accomplishment that I like, I use this, my stuff and I was able to be done with it. It is always sad when it's like your favorite washi or something and you can't find it anymore. But it always feels like a good feeling to um, finish up on products, I think at least. So let's find, I'm not even sure which direction this goes, this way maybe? Although maybe I should do something smaller so I can make my list. And then right here, we're gonna do uh, a place to do, sorry, I'm looking for, I'm looking again. You know how this always goes for me. Here we go. A uh, place to write down new releases because I have new releases coming out this month or this month, this week. And I kind of like to be able to track them. So let's actually use this and we will go ahead and just write out new releases. And later I will come back and actually write out what my new releases are. Um, in case you're wondering, it's some more Christmas stuff. A couple Christmas kits, uh, some Christmas quotes, and the December monthly. And I think that's it. I think that's what's coming out this week. Um, I have been working on... Uh, I was working on New Year's. My gosh, my brain. You ever feel like this where you just like feeling like you're running on a weird headspace and you're trying to find words and none of them are coming to you. That has been my day all day today. I even made a comment about it to my husband earlier today. Like, why can't I figure out what words? Um, and then we will take this and this I will write out my Instagram schedule later. This here and then we'll go ahead and put I have this video on Tuesday so you'll see this on Tuesday I have a day in the life video on Thursday and then I'll have a video on Friday for new releases so there's those and then I think this is done um, I think that's actually oh let's go back to my calendar and get my um, calendar things on I'm trying my other sheet. Okay, so this week, um, my son has scouts this day, so let's put this for scouts. No math wings though, so we'll do that for scouts. We have, oops, I'm knocking over things. Um, let's take a look at this, make sure it's a busy week, so I don't want to miss anything. Um, let's see, we got scouts. We have a couple no school days. So we have a half day on Wednesday. Um, let me actually get out my scripts, my school scripts, so I can mark. I want those. Um, actually, mark the half day. My kids are bouncing around. I don't know what they're doing. So we have a half day here. Do I have? my tweezers somewhere. This is my brain, in case you're wondering. Here they are. <laughs> so we have a half day here. I'll write down pick up time later. We have a... Oh, I just want the outside, or the inside, not the outside. We have no school on Thursday, and we have no school on... Friday, it's parent teacher conference week. No school, no school. I only have no one no school on here. So I need to go and get let me see if I have another one of those sheets in here. Uh, I don't need, oh yes I do. So we'll mark another no school day. I think we're gonna just relax and um Hang out for the week, do a little, some science, uh, Halloween. <sighs> some of my Halloween science Q 
Kiwi and Co. kits. And then we have two parent-teacher conferences, so I was kind of thinking about using these in some way, but they might be too big. If, well, if I put one here and then I put one here, I can write down the two different times for the teachers that I need to meet. The parent-teacher conferences. And then my daughter's birthday, let's do this big old box here, is on Saturday. We're officially in the double digits. She is turning 10 and I cannot believe it. And I don't want to believe it, but she is. <laughs> And then normally, okay, so this down here, I don't normally, I don't know that I've talked about it in a while. I use that for like my next week. Sorry, I'm trying to find my calendar. So let's flip that to this current week. So I just put a little thing and then I, I kind of mark so I can see stuff that's coming. So for the week that's coming, we have four big things. So we have my path a day, my daughter has her doctor's appointment where I take all of them to get their flu shots. We have a math wings regional and then they have a watchdogs pizza. Oh, and then there's another animal tails. So let's put that there. Then I'm going to take my youngest too. And then I'll write that stuff in later. I think that's everything. Let's do another quick flip and just make sure. So I got my calendar, got my days set up. And then we have this is coming off this side. Just a little bit. And then we have my shop and YouTube. Um, I, I'm going to flip back and show you. So I have these pages back here, like my goals pages. I have my goals and then my waiting on my Addy list. And then during this first week, since there was only two days, I had a bunch of extra pages. So I did this Halloween one that I'm going to write down costumes and all that. Um, I haven't obviously filled it out. I have my Preptober, and then I love spooky movies this time of the year. So I made this spread so I can track what movies I watch because I think it's fun because I'm originally a bullet journal, so like all kinds of fun spreads and stuff like this, it just, it's fun. So this is just, um, I just drew these, obviously they don't, they're not pretty. Um, and then I watercolored the background. Again, I'm not a great watercolor, but I like it. And then these bats are from the Coco Daisy Halloween kit. Same with the all the die cuts. And then these, uh, this script, this alphas are from like a By the Welfare God, one of the kits that just had orange. You could use any orange alphas for that. And then I was working on a uh, library return list um, kind of thing. So I just thought I'd give you a peek. So if you like to do stuff like this um, and you wanted something fun, this could be a fun spread for you. But anyways, we'll come back here. <laughs> um, but I think that's all I got for the week. Um, I have it all set up and ready to go. And yeah, so thanks for watching again. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. See you next time. Bye.